lights, camera, action. Okay. You're watching Food is Medicine, where we help you heal from the root cause so you can feel whole again. I think in this controversial health world that there is one thing we can all agree on and that is olive oil is healthy. No matter what dietary philosophy you follow, we know that olive oil is loaded in healthy monounsaturated fats. It also has been clinically proven to help prevent stroke and heart disease. It's loaded with antioxidants and it's a very generally healthy food. But what we're talking about today is mistakes we can make when we buy olive oil because all olive oil is not created equal. This is segment is my jam because I am 100% Italian and I wish that my great grandmother could be here today to taste this olive oil because we're going to have some taste testers. So there are a couple things we really need to know before we buy olive oil. And the first is you need it to be fresh because we have to lock it in at the peak of harvest season. It has to be harvested at the right time just like a juice would be because olive oil really is like a juice. So we have to lock it in. It has to be fresh pressed. And the way that you would know that when you shop for olive oil is if it's a good quality olive oil, it's going to be in a dark bottle to prevent it from the uh, trappings of light to damage the oil and it's also going to tell you when it was harvested. So here it says Chilean harvest season 2017 and it needs to have a use by date on it. So now it's saying use by July 2018. You see you don't want to keep your olive oil for longer than a year. So that's going to be really important. It'll say either harvest date or press date on the bottle if it's a good quality olive oil. And we also want to know that they are independently tested. Now this was new to me and I thought I knew a lot about olive oil being Italian and I was recently introduced to this gentleman named TJ Robinson who calls himself the olive oil hunter. He eats, sleeps and breathes olive oil quality and he is researching this all of the time. He started something I just began receiving called the Fresh Pressed Olive Oil Club. And what he does is he says we need to look for independent lab studies because when there's not certifications in other countries, they can cut the olive oil with different things, whether that be pesticides or other low quality oils. And so we have to make sure that one, they're independently lab tested, that you're getting 100% olive oil. And it should say that on the bottle, 100% extra virgin olive oil as the only ingredient. And when you go through, let's say, a club or you go through higher quality, this is why people go through wine clubs because they know the standard that they're getting, then you know how was this shipped, how long did it take, what were the conditions. There's not international standards for shipping olive oil to where it counts as a food and must be shipped with food only. It can be shipped with other manufacturing products. And so that's another thing you have to think of. How long is it shipping to be able to get to you? And then, of course, one of the most important things is taste. So we're going to do a taste test. We have two special guests today that are going to be independent, whether they've never tried this olive oil before, and let you know what they think. So let's bring in Miss Stacy Leland. Hi, Stace. Hello. So say Hello. hi to everybody. Hi. So Stacy uh, works with us at The Whole Journey. She is our set stylist. She is our food stylist. And she also is answering a lot of your blog comments, your questions when you write into customer service. And she's a foodie. I'm a foodie. And I love olive oil. And you love to cook. And I love to you cook. You started out with a whole journey as a sous chef, right? Yes. Yeah, that was fun in private practice. Yes. OK, so I have here three different types of olive oil. They're all from Chile. And I just want you to rate them on a scale of, I mean, you've tasted all kinds of olive oil. On a I scale have. of 1 to 10, how good do they taste? We've got some fermented sourdough bread here. This is Prager's bread, local to us in Carlsbad. Not for those with gluten sensitivity, but for those who handle gluten OK, you can try it. All right, so let's see. Here we go. OK, number one. Number one. El favorito. El favorito. So this is the thing also of, you know, you can't, you can't buy US olive oil fresh pressed all the time because of the seasons. So mm -hmm. we have to leverage the southern hemisphere. This mm -hmm. is Chilean. Do you love it? I Do love, you love it. it? Okay. 
It's a little bit spicy, try. a little okay. bit full bodied. Okay. This, you know, as Italians, we do not dip our bread in butter. It's my great grandma. She'd be like, you like it in bread. You dip in the <laughs> olive oil. We would have olive oil right by our plate. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Good. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. What's next? Next, we have Alonzo. Extra virgin, mm. of course. So let's try okay. this. Let's scooch Alonzo this. Alonzo extra around. virgin. Do you know not to cook with olive oil above low heat? That's another really important thing. It's not stable under high heat. Mm. Mm. It smells good. That one's really mm. spicy. Yeah. This one. Yeah. What's that one in comparison? This one is similar. Okay. This one, the color, and you can see the colors, they're both dark olive green. That, my mm. friends, is olive juice, right? And that's what the, the olive oil hunter would say is olive juice. It's not normally this dark green. I can't wait to see what Bob, our healthy foodie who comes in next, thinks. All right, and the last one. What do we have here? Mm. This is a lighter one. It's called Antucaru. So I did an um, olive oil tasting in Argentina, in Mendoza, when I went wine tasting. And it's really just amazing what goes into creating these products. How is it? I actually, this one's much lighter. The color's yeah. lighter. You like it better this for dipping? This is a dipping? mild flavor that most people would like. And that's spicier for where, what would you cook with with the spicier flavors versus mild, you know, this is where you would saute garlic on low or put in your pasta sauce on low after it's cooked? I would actually drizzle this as a finishing oil on top so that you can actually taste it throughout. On your vegetables, grilled yeah, vegetables. salad, vegetables, fish, just at the a soup, mm -hmm. just a drizzle on the top um, and it'll keep its flavor and not lose itself in the recipe. This being a more mild version would be something I'd cook with. Yeah, on low. Mm -hmm. or, or just more um, palate friendly mm -hmm. for most people. Cool. All right. Mm -hmm. Thank you for your opinion. You're welcome. <laughs> now we're going to bring in Bob Pollock to see what he has to say. All right. Taster number two. We have Mr. Bob Pollock coming in. Bob, welcome. Hi, Kristen. How are you? Hi. Great to see you. You too. Thanks for the kitchen. Sure. We're in Bob's kitchen. I always like to give my kitchen away. <laughs> well, we appreciate it, and, and you appreciate it. And so Bob is known in San Diego as a healthy foodie and a top eater because he comments so much on the food blogs. I have my fork with me. And yeah, he's ready. He's ready to eat anything. Okay, Bob, so now we're doing an olive oil tasting. Did you hear what we were just saying about olive oil? I did. Okay, so we've got three different Chilean oils. The reason we're using Chilean oils is because they were harvested just in July and we try to have the freshest press. So I would like your honest opinion to take some bread, dip it in each one. Okay. Yay or nay. El Favorito, El Favorito. Is, is number one. Alrighty. It's from Chile. 2017, just pressed within a few months. Mmm. Spicy. Mm, a little spicy. Okay. You really taste the olives though. Right. It's different. Actually, these two are different than any olive oil I've ever tasted. That that like that really one's rich. That darker. Sure. Mm-hmm. This one, Alonso. They're done in small batches too at Fresh Pressed Olive Oil Club, which I think is cool. Mmm. Spicy. Yeah. Spicier, mm -hmm. right? Yep. That would be good uh, salad dressing, drizzle on the end. And then the most mild one, Antucaru with your Prager's bread. And you gotta give it a rating compared to other olive oils you've taste tested. I would put this on my tomatoes, on my bread. Okay. I like this one. This you is like very that nice. one the best. Mm -hmm. Okay, good to know. So you're middle of the road spice guy. I guess. Yeah, yeah. okay, cool, thank Thanks. you. Sure, anytime. It was really fun having you taste <laughs> test. Thanks, bye-bye. <laughs> There you have it, the scoop on healthy olive oil. If you would like to try 
any one of these olive oils, we have a special treat for you today with the folks from Fresh Pressed Olive Oil Club. You can get any one of these $39 bottles of olive oil for just $1. Just go to bottleforabuck.com, then you can grab one, taste test it for yourself, come back and leave a comment and let us know what you think. Thanks so much for being here. We'll catch you next time on Food is Medicine.